Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my tutorial um, in Valve Hammer. Um, please take part 1 and part 2 before you get this far because we're going to be making this whole map together. So, here's part 3 and in this one we are going to make be using the entity tool to make some objects in our little room here. Uh, Let's make a handrail across here to stop people from falling in and drowning in the water. And to keep the people at health and safety happy. Right, to start off, what you want to do is use the entity tool. And then down here is where what you want. Um, it is called prop static. So you type that in and it should come up, lovely. And then you go back up to the 3D view and click. Now use the selection tool. This is your little entity here, this little red box. Uh, selection tool to double click it to open the object properties. Um, now you want to change the world model. So double click it and pops up your model browser. Um, model browser is basically the same as the texture browser whatever you want you filter down here and it will pop up that's filter a box and a load of stuff with box in its name will come up and some lovely boxes here in case you wanted to see the boxes never know Box car door, fighting box, white box, lovely box. Um, right, what we want is a handrail, so we type in handrail. This will come up with a load of handrails. The normal handrail is handle ra handrail 04, short or medium or long, whichever one you want really. We're going to go with long first of all because we want to get it done. Click apply then and you can now exit that window because you have made the handrail. As you can see it's kind of going into the ground so we want to fix that. So you go down to the side view click the selection tool and then drag it up a bit there we go right now it is facing the wrong way we want it there so what we want to do is selection tool go to the top view click it once to go into rotate mode and then you can rotate it there we go or you can you can right click and then properties and then that will come up and you can change the angle with this just type in 90 there and then click apply exit that because you have now made it the right way now you just got to move it into the right place so selection tool and then you click and drag and put it into the right place is our handrail. Now we want to make it right the way across. So what we're going to do, selection tool and then over here you can hold shift, click and drag. The same as copying a wall or copying anything in the hammer. Just duplicating it. Shift, click, drag. Do it so that the Handrail is going right the way across, and there's our handrail right the way across, keeping the health and safety people happy. Now, quick demonstration of what we've learned. Uh, let's just make a lovely table by here. Uh, entity tool down here, make sure it's prop static, search it. Uh, you click and then you double click it with a selection tool. World model, double click it, 
and search whatever you want table and then whatever table you want let's have that one double click it and then click apply and there we go there's our table now rotate it click once and then rotate and there we go here's our table once again we'll do it again just to make a chair entity tool prop static click double click world model double click at search chair and search for an attractive chair that one will do hit ok apply exit that window and there's our chair make sure that it's not going through the floor so selection tool and drag it up a bit and then top down view click once to rotate and there we go there's our objects nice and neatly done lovely okay cool you have now learned how to make objects and how to make ob um, simple objects and stuff uh, I'll teach you some more about the entity tool in another tutorial when we make some doors or make some NPCs. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll show you an in-game version of this now. Okay, see you in the next one. Thanks. Ciao.